Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I will record the game or two or three, I don't know, of uh, Anything Paladin. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is that you have the possibility to bring up your guys with Nizot. Uh, you can get up like a Turion or the Infested Torrents and stuff like that. So I hope it will work on the Legend rank. So let's see. And guys, remember one thing. Just have fun. Uh, so I think that there will be definitely an Agro Shaman. So we don't want the Ivernite, that's too slow, Ludhoder seems good. Mistress of Mixtures, that's like the hardest card to pronounce in my opinion, but that happens. This is really interesting, we could just go for the getaway Kodo, playing Doomsayer, and then Doomsayer will come to our hand, right? Yeah, I want to do do this. This this sounds really fun. Because if we if we think it's an aggro aggro shaman, having an extra doomsayer is really awesome. Like if we had jade claws, that's not enough. Sure, let's see what happens. I mean, uh, I hope he doesn't clear it. But anyway, if it dies, I will just get another one as well, right? Sure. I wonder if it triggers by itself, if this gets... ...popped? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, uh, A lot of excitement for nothing. Well, he could have traded, right, so I could get it back. Um, Elstorm? No, no, no. Maybe another Totem Golem? Maelstrom? Sure, so I get at least this one, that's good. I'm kind of thinking about just playing the blue girl, but I, th I can trade it. The Totem Golem, I can trade it next turn with Murloc War Leader into Blue Guild, so I'm just thinking about like these two, this one here, I get the heal. Maybe he decides to trade these two, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see, yeah. Well, we can. Oh, we can do the same. Oh my god. The healing totem. This is bad. Sure, let's do it. We can play this as 4 2 next turn. That's good. Wow, I really like it. It deals with the aggro really, really good. But yeah, I could have drawn worse cards than I have, right? We'll see, we'll see. But so far we got three Murlocs, one died, one with the charge, here's the second one, here's the third one, so we are waiting for the war leader. Sure. And we can go these two next turn, we can wait for the Ivory Knight to heal us, to get some extra value from it. Yeah, now I realized it doesn't run a uh, Solemn's Vigil, right? <sighs> but we have the... We have the... How is it called? Loot orders for that, so... And Acolyte of Pain. Sure, this is not really something that we wanted to see, but... Uh, yeah, let's just do this. This will pop up. Why not? Like we could have traded the healing totem, but... 
if he has flame tank he won't kill it with the totem anyway so he just used lightning bolt and even if he had a lightning bolt this will revive as always it will it will revive this always right so that's another 2 1 plus 2 2 that's for 3 for 1 mana that's good So we are doing this into equality and maybe playing the charge just he already played one maelstrom so uh, I think if we don't draw anything good next turn I think we are forced to play the Ivory Knight on 30 health which kind of feels bad but Maybe we could just play the Doomsayer, stall turn. Maybe not. Like he's overloaded, right? He has how much is it? Two overload, so he will have he will have six mana available next turn, which means he can play almost everything that he has. So let's just trade this. Mm, let's run this as well. Let's see what he will do. So uh, if he draws some of the secrets it's not really good for us. Sure that's like no healing totem, sure. Loot order is good. But anyway I, th I think we need to play this just for the tempo I guess oh divine favor that couldn't be that bad could could it be destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion maybe we should just go for this and like clear all the totems this will clear um, flame tank as well Oh, this is too greedy, I guess. Sure. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, so we will play this if he doesn't decide to trade this. Trade this. He wants to trade it, sure. Yeah, Tyrion is definitely better than playing the Colosseum. Come on, bro. Not sure. So, we can play this. We can trade this, we can play this, next turn we can anything. And we can push some damage. There's no reason to wait. Yeah, it revives this guy as well. Good. Sure. I'm kind of surprised by its results. It worked really good for me, and I would I have to say that it was pretty entertaining as well. So you should definitely try this deck out, guys. The the link will be in the description. And if you guys liked the video or if you liked me as a deck showcaser or anything like that, anything like that, you should consider liking or upvoting or even subscribing to my channel 
or checking out my channel because I have a lot of similar videos to these and I'm going to do a few interesting deck showcases in the future so definitely something to think about thank you for watching guys and see you in next videos Cool.